Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Thanks for showing up. Here, I thought this was going to be a rescue. Right, there's a story here. You know a guy called Hatch? Serene's right-hand man. He was here. He gave me this big speech about how he wants to take down Paul. I hope you said no. I didn't trust him for a second. He set me loose anyways, told me to wait for an opening. I just gave you one. Appreciate it. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, weenie. Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. Hey! He's escaping! will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, I'm gonna have to move faster to get through. Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? Warn me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? I need to get across somehow. There must be a way across. Up you go. Explain the dry dock saying to the public. Hey, it was just our people. We can spin it however we want. Call it an accident. Hey, stay sharp. Time felt broken here. It's locked.
The whole cannon felt unstuck in time. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist... Direct fire! ...stutter-proof gear. Oh, Rescue, eyes on target. Oh. Neutralize the target. the radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Whoa, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? <laughs> you have no idea. Thank you. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Beth, I'm about to take the elevator. Is Paul still fond of his own voice? Yeah, he's talking about his survival plan. The crowd's eating it up.
The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon damp. Serene ordered Hatch to kill me because he didn't want to put his plan at risk. But seeing the scale of that facility, I started realizing just how deep that plan went. It made me wonder. Time was ending. What was it all for? Guessing this isn't the usual employee route. Nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. Nice job, Beth. That's Amaral's office. Yeah, Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. 
less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh, shit. Emeralds at the park. This is better than last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late.